started doing something that was, from the beginning, it was like a miracle because it, we had three months to design a new format, to convince the companies, to imagine uh, also a way to communicate this new version of the Salone. So uh, it was very, very hard. But uh, I worked with uh, an amazing group of, uh, of friends that co-curating were co-curating with me all the different parts of the soap with, uh, with Andrea Caputo, Lucas Wegwer, Studio Folder, Annina Coibo, Maria Cristina Didero, Giorgio Donà. Uh, I think we are, let's say, uh, so happy now and um, it's a collective effort together with the Salone team. The request was to imagine uh, a, a different edition of the Salone because we knew that in terms of number of people, visitor and buyers, we probably reduce expectation. And the other very strong constraint was related with the pandemic. So we had to do our best to not create opportunity to, to have a density, density of people or density of bodies uh, like what normally happens in a fair like the Salon del Mobile. So this, for that reason, we started from the beginning to let's exclude the format of the booth and to move for a completely different layout done by the sequence of vertical setups where in a quite democratic way every brand can expose what they have done. And then also this idea that we really want to show everybody that it's possible to recycle or reuse all the setup, all the other things. So, and it's enough. Just imagine what's happened the day after the last day of the Salon del Mobile, where you see the destruction and loss of, let's say, thousands of, uh, of square meter of, uh, of setups, uh, of chairs, uh, uh, objects, uh, prot of prototypes. Uh, uh, we cannot upset this no longer. So uh, I believe this is something that uh, is, for the first time, clear, present, and we want to make this, I hope, a legacy for the future. When we have to deal with furniture, I think it's that uh, this idea to, let's say, to put on the pedestal all what is new and uh, make the proximity with the public easier. Uh, so substituting the, the booth with uh, these vertical setups uh, is a good idea. I'm, I'm not saying this is a unique way to, let's say, go ahead or to improve the quality of the perception of the space that the public could have, but it's one of the best possibility we have now. So I'm quite sure that something of this will, will remain as, as a possible uh, reference. When we talk seriously about design, you have to consider, you have to cover, uh, let's say, quite a large spectrum of, of, uh, of steps. So imagination, uh, capacity to, to answer to, let's say, the request of the users. Then you have to, 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 let's say, to select the materials, the colors, to combine uh, the different materials. Uh, let's say, to create an object that has one unique configuration, shape and dimension. And then you start to imagine how to prototype it. And when you have prototyped it, you have to start to test the direction of, of a possible user and then you have to decide to make this prototype in condition to enter in a production series you know, that normally happens during the Salone. And then after that you have to understand how to communicate this. So this sequence of steps are all present here. I'm very happy of that. So thanks to this different way to expose the object, thanks to the presence of the online platform, thanks to the presence of, of the schools, of the makers, uh, all this is visible, so I, I like so much this transparent way to show to everybody that design is a very complex and for this reason interesting and intriguing process of transforming the world. Sometimes when you are in an emergency, you do your best to experiment, you know, to accelerate experimentation and uh, I hope that exactly what we have done here.